watching Paint Dry. Today we're going to go over how to set up a sprayer, get it ready for painting. Now first I'm going to go over the equipment that you're going to need in front of you. And in no particular order, a bucket of clean water, maybe two-thirds full. You're going to need a heavy-duty extension cord, probably 12 gauge. Probably need a couple of wrenches. You're going to need some of this throat seal which you put right into here and it helps lube the sprayer. Of course you're going to need a sprayer. You're going to have your gun and you're going to want to run the line out, get it unwound. Now you're going to need your paint of course. I recommend five gallon buckets if you're going to be spraying it's much easier than trying to deal with one gallon buckets. And here's a clean bucket with a strainer inside of it, a five gallon bucket paint strainer. And all the paint that I run through this sprayer, I'm going to strain through this strainer before I put it in there. And if you do that, you will have met much fewer problems when you're spraying in terms of uh, little gooky clumps that might be in the paint uh, jamming up your gun and clogging it up. That can be a real pain. Oh, and you're going to want some rubber gloves too. First thing we want to do is get the paint set up. So I take the five gallon bucket of paint, I dump it in the bucket that has the strainer on it. Now usually I would let this sit there and drain for a while, but I'll gow it out of there later with a brush. Now, <clears throat> unhook that strainer from around the edges, slowly lift it up. Let it drain out of there, then take your fingers and just kind of squeeze the rest of it down off the end. Get all the paint out of the strainer and into the bucket. Then take your strainer, go over to your clean water, give it a rinse, and let it just kind of hang in there. You can reuse these many times if you clean them up. Okay, now the paint is ready to be set up with the sprayer. Move the paint bucket over in front of the sprayer like that. Now what I've got in here right now is just water from the last time I used it. So there's water in the pump and there's water in the line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm first going to cycle paint through the pump by priming it. Then I'm going to cycle paint through the line. Then I'm going to install my tip housing in my tip. And then I'll be ready to go. It's really that simple. Now, a lot of times paint sprayers are stored with paint thinner in the line. If that's the case, I would need to cycle clean water through this machine before I use latex paint. Okay, so make sure the sprayer is plugged in. Then you want to take the suction hose, siphon hose, whatever they call it. Stick it right in your paint. Okay? Now we're ready to start priming the paint through the machine. Now, you need to find the switch on your machine that controls the spray mode or the prime mode. Spray, prime. Okay, I want this on prime right now. Now here's the thing to remember, another thing to remember. This is called your return tube or something. But basically, this is what you're going to drain off all the water that's in the sprayer out of. And you're going to drain it into this little scrap bucket here that you got. Now once I see paint starting to come out of this little tube here, I'm going to quickly switch it over here to the paint bucket and then I'm just going to let the paint cycle through the pump for a little while. Make sure you get it in the bucket before you turn it on. Okay, I let it cycle through there for a couple minutes. Now the pump is primed. Now we need to prime the line. So what you do is you're going to do the same thing as you did with the, with the priming. You're going to run the water into the scrap bucket until such time that the paint starts coming out and then you're going to switch it over to the paint bucket and let it cycle through for a couple minutes. Okay, first of all, you got to switch the pump to spray. Now here's something that's very important. Before you turn the pump on to start cycling that uh, water out of there and the paint in, pull the trigger, okay? and point it into the bucket, then turn the pump on. If you turn the pump on and then pull the trigger, you're going to get a big splash. 
So pull the trigger, point it in the bucket. After you turn it off, keep it squeezed to release the pressure. Last thing I need to do is put on my tip housing and the tip. Take the tip housing, screw it on. So that it's still pretty loose. Then you take the tip, put it in that hole. And then you finish tightening this up. Usually you can do it by hand, but if it leaks, you might have to take a wrench to it. Okay, there you go. That's pointed forward for spraying. That's reversing the tip right there. If you get a tip clog, reverse it, give it a couple squirts, turn it back, and that should fix the problem. This will lock the gun so that you can't pull the trigger. Now don't forget, throughout the day, couple different times you're going to want to add some throat seal to this machine, okay? You don't want it to start running dry. That's how you ruin paint sprayers. Believe me, I know. Now the last thing you're going to want to do before you go out and start spraying the house is you want to adjust the pressure of the machine. So have a piece of cardboard handy, something that you can do a couple test sprays on. Mm, I think I want to turn it up a little bit. Nice and smooth, no big splatters, no big fingers on the edge of the fan. Okay, so now you know how to set your paint sprayer up for spraying. Now when you're done spraying, you're probably going to want to clean it out. So see the video on my website about how to clean a paint sprayer. And that's at howtopaintahouseright.com, where you'll find a lot of helpful information as well as a complete series of videos that I've created to help you paint your house right.